So yeah, it's Dan from Daily Joy, but I'm checking out the Love Film app on Xbox 360, which has just come out with a system update today. Well, the update's technically not out yet, but the app's out. Um, you may have watched the video yesterday, which detailed the app. So I'm going to go and check out Love Film now. I've downloaded it. I've had a Core already, just to get familiar with it. So, yeah, here we go. It's over in the apps section. Love Film. So I'll just give you a basic look at it, see what it's like, because Love Film's been on PlayStation 3 for a fair while now. I am a Love Film subscriber, so I'll, I will show you the menus, a little bit of a film, obviously not too much of a film because it's copyright and whatever else. So yeah, I'm just logging in. So yeah, here's the front panel. We've got recently added films. Um, these are only films that are available to stream, obviously. So there aren't a massive number of films yet. It's the same films that you'll get on PS3 and on the Love Film website if you visit online. But there are enough films to keep you going. They've got recently added ones, uh, the most viewed ones, ones that are going to expire soon in Last Chance, and Love Film Picks, and they've got a few adverts, and you can do genres and collections. And then over here there's a bunch of information stuff. You can go in there I guess and get DVDs by post. Uh, nope, that just seems to be it. Oh yeah, I just saw it said and then there's settings over there. And a search if you want to search by film or by actor or director. So yeah, it's very basic, but it's all you need really. So I'll go to recently added, just to give you an idea. So as you can see we've got the films listed and with a box up which is quite cool because on the PS3 version it was very basic. It was a list like horizontal lines going down with a tiny little thumbnail that usually wasn't useful. It was a picture from the film or whatever. So as you can see there are these are all the films that are available to stream. Obviously you need an account for this. I have an account luckily. So if you don't have an account you can't just jump on and watch all these films. You need to log in with your Love Film account first. But uh, yeah, as you can see there are some big titles on there like Pirates of the Caribbean and we saw Batman Begins on the other page, Sixth Sense, Wild Hogs, Narnia and so on, so on. So yeah. And if you click a film, let's just pick Batman Begins because that's the popular film. You have an overview. As you can see, there's not much to say there. And if you head over here, you got the actors, actresses, director, and so on. And you can click on them. So Christian Bale. And it will take you to Christian Bale's other movies that are available for stream, which is quite nice if you're a Christian Bale fan. If you're not, then too bad. Or Gary Oldman who's actually got a fair few films on here but yeah as that's how it rolls now I'll just quickly I'll just resume playback just because I can show you a little bit in rather than just the opening title things uh, as you'll see it's not HD or anything like that but it is perfectly watchable So you could watch it if need be. I mean, if you're a Love Film subscriber, then this is just a bonus already. If you're not a Love Film subscriber, obviously you get the streaming as a bonus. I'm not sure it's available on every single package, so you'll have to check online first. That will be the end of that. So yeah, that's Love Film on 360. There's not really much more to say. Uh, I'll have a quick peek in genres and collections, I suppose, so we can show you the sort of stuff that they put in there. Collections first, they've got films from Warner, then they've got themed ones, Decades, Almighty Movies, as it's called there, Korean films, something saucy, yeah, and so on, so on. And then genres is pretty much the same sort of thing, just without the alternate subtitles. So you got everything there from, from your action adventures even down to your Bollywoods and your animated musicals, teen films. So yeah, plenty of stuff.
should be something in there for you if you like it. If you're already a Love Film subscriber and you obviously play Xbox 360, then this is an added bonus. I definitely prefer it to the PS3 one, which we've been... I say we, that's me and my mum who lives with me. We use the Love Film on PS3 to watch movies uh, over whenever. So yeah, I think I'll stick to the Xbox one from now on. It's cleaner, it's easier to use... Uh, even the fast forward rewind functions and stuff like in the actual movie are smoother than on PS3. So yeah, that's Love Film. It will, it's coming out today sometime when the update pops along. I mean, the app is already up to download, obviously, as I've downloaded it, but I've got it because of the beta. So if you watch this before the supposed three o'clock or whenever it is that the app is supposed or the update is supposed to come along, then you'll get the chance to download this and knock yourself out so just remember you do need an account for this though you can't just jump on and watch films but it's worth it and it's definitely better than the ps3 one uh thanks for watching